Hello. Greetings. I am Sengi. So nice to meet you, Sengi. Yes. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank Is, you. Are there any messages that you would like to give us? Yes. I am now in charge of hybridization children and hybridization specimens. Those that come to you to take the specimens I am not necessarily in charge of. They do bring me the information. They do bring me information on what they have done and I do record it. The recording system of all the hybridizations has changed a little bit since I have been in charge. We have much more documentation. I would like to see much more documentation between humans and their children. If you do have children in the hybridization program, we would like to hear from you and would, we will give you the information as quickly as possible and I will notate that you have been inquiring about your child and what information has been shared. This is helpful to know that the program is moving on in a high integral way. I'm not sure I said that correctly, but I think you understand. We would like to make it a very closed program in the sense that nothing beyond protocol is done. No inappropriateness is actually done any longer. And there has still been some inappropriate sample gatherings and hybrid children creations because people have not been telling the truth about how they got the permission or why they want the children. Now, this will stop. We will have an integral program and it will be one that is of high standards. The children will be taken care of and you will know everywhere that they will go and you will be a part of their education and how they are raised. If you would like to give suggestions for these things, it is very, very much appreciated. We would like them to be aware of their human culture as well as their alien cultures and those species and aliens around them in this world as well. Your input is very valuable. Cultural suggestions are very helpful because they will someday be coming to Earth to visit their human counterparts, although your percentage of the child is much less than that which is conceived by the parents here on this side. It is still a great responsibility that you have given. Much of the time it's between 5 and 12 percent of human DNA that is shown at birth. So therefore it is important that if there is any percentage of humanity shown within the hybridized, hybridized child that you would have some say and it would be very beneficial for you to do so. Are there questions? Yes. Hello, Sandy. This is Sheer. Sheer. Greetings. Um, by behalf of all human colony, I want to uh, welcome you and thank you for all you do. Thank you. I have just begun my mission. It I'm has sure only been a little while since I have taken over this very large responsibility, but already I believe that we have it under control in a much greater way than it was before. Not to say anything against Tukur or the way it was run before, but she had too many responsibilities and now the program will be a lot tighter and more responsive. I see. Um, first question is about the visitation of us with the hybrid children. How many times yes. do we see them a month, or if at all? 
Well, we come to you. This is another portion that is being set up at this time. We will come to you and ask if you would like to come visit them. We will set you up on a schedule. Now, some people will just ask to see their children out of the clear blue sky, which is fine. If we can accommodate that, we will. But usually scheduling a time for you people to visit their children will probably be more beneficial and much more able to be, the information will be able to be tracked better. But if you would like to visit your child at any time, we will do our best to accommodate you. I see. So first of all, any time that I can come, I would, would like to come and visit my hybrid child. Um, second and question. they are most grateful. There, you have to understand also that sometimes the parents are not able to receive at that particular time. And so scheduling makes it much easier for them to know when you are going to visit. I see. Um, next question. If I have hybridizations, a couple of them, and uh, I make a hybrid child, do we... Um, does he get the other infusions with the DNA or just the human DNA? Only the, the, the human portion? That is up to you. If you decide that you want only human counter, a human specimen, then they will remove the other hybridization um, scientifically. Uh, okay. I don't Usually we only do human to species hybridization because it's purer that way and we can get a better result. We can get an understanding of the how well it works together and see a more pure form of a hybrid child. Okay, thank you very, very much. You are welcome. Okay, Michelle, did you want to ask next? Yes, please. Uh, much yeah. love. Um, I was told by Jakar that I have a hybrid son, Pleiadian. Yeah. Um, and it happened two years ago, and I'm not even sure that I knew about Gurk Fit near two years ago. <laughs> no, they were taking DNA samples from higher vibrational beings even before permission was starting. So, so therefore, who are people they? Had sample, were taken samples of even without their permission two years ago. The program did not start until after that. Um, who are they? The people who, who took the samples. Correct. Your child is two years and six months. Now I'm curious who took the samples without my permission. Usually and it's how? the UVL that gather. Okay. Um, you, we have many gatherers on each of the ships. And, and usually and they are UVL. Is this all Gurk fit near then? It is now. There were samples taken from beyond Gurk fit near sometimes and were given to us. So, as gifts in exchange for technology and things of this nature because it was a very great interest to us. We do not do that any longer. So where is my child now? And he's how, on ERA. He's on ERA? Yes. And, um, well... The I, educational system is taking care of your child. He is beautiful and he is learning very much. His interests are in science and biology. And how do I connect with him? You just ask. Okay. And in your astral form, we will take you to visit him and his family. And you can give them instructions. Some have given such instructions that they want the child to be held more or to be given more attention as far as uh, touching or given more cultural information, or given um, pictures or information about Earth that they might not have originally wanted 
the original family may not wanted them to have right away. But right. it is part your child, and so you can give instructions, and they will be obeyed. And there, are, are there may be there may be discussion with the parents. However, usually, usually things are very amicable. Are his parents Pleiadian or another race? They are. They are of his, his race. Family. Yes. They are Pleiadian. Yes. Okay. Yes, your Tupata. Yes. Um. Please send them my love. And yes. um, I would love to meet with them. Thank you. You are welcome. Please formulate questions for the parents before you go. I will. Thank you. All right. Dan, you had a few questions? Yeah, <clears throat> there are a lot of questions from the group. It, it stirred up quite, uh, quite a thing here. Many people are wanting to know if they have hybrid children now. Really, over a dozen people are asking me if they have hybrid children now and I have don't them write have them write to write to Jim yes okay so Jim can be contacted at Jim Reiki at gmail dot com um, I'll post it um, here on the things some of the questions about the hybrid program are not going to be able to be approached during this webinar because there are other Correct. things that we need to do Do in the webinar as well Length. Also, do not expect a lengthy answer if there are going to be many inquiries. Yeah, and there are. There are so many because uh, it just the whole thing just lit up. I got people coming from all over, and we're we're not going to be able to answer all these questions today. So I would ask the hybrid questions be directed to Jim's email, and Jim will get to them as he does or as he will. It might be a good idea if we have just a separate webinar for maybe those people on those things that might be it has, nice. has been suggested but um, all right, now so. but there was a at the time it was suggested I was just coming into this new responsibility and so I have not yet been able to get everything under control but it will be very shortly now that I will be able to do a webinar with some people. That would be awesome just to give that information out, a quick list of membership. That way, um, if you possibly give a list of those that have hybrid children that may not know they do, and then the rest will know that they don't have one. Then instead of everybody going, do I have one, you can just give a list of the ones that do, and well, then everybody else have them write to, to me. It would be impossible. I do not know the ones that do not know because ah, okay. they're because that information is not available to me yet. If you do not know if you have a hybrid child, please give me your name so that I can check. If you know that you okay. have a hybrid child, then I can give you information on that child. But there are many children that the parents have not checked on as of this time, probably about 60 or 70. So therefore, I know that some of these children, the, the parents did not give permission. And some are older, of course, at this time. But there are some that are still very young that have not had inquiries from their parents as of yet. So therefore, it would be good if you did inquire and we will give you that response. Then that way, my records will be more complete as well. Okay, I see it's being suggested on the side, and this is expanding quite quickly, that we need uh, somewhere on the website to have just a hybrid section that, that deals with uh, this kind of thing so that uh, it can all the information can be found in one place instead of it being all over the place. So that, that would be a nice thing if we could that have That would just, be the responsibility of your side. Yes, we'll handle that. I think we can do something. Thank you, Will, for those ideas. But um, otherwise, it's going to get quite out of hand. But uh, and that's uh, that's all I have for right this moment because it's uh, it's too large well. to handle it this time. If that is all the questions, I will be going for now. Oh, oh hold on one second. I do have a question. Yes. Oh, this is from Sabrina. 
And she Sabrina. asked, what is meant to happen with all these children? They are, they do have parents, and these children are loved and nurtured by their parents that are in the alien forms, of course, and they are to be brought up to be outstanding citizens of, of Gurkfiknir. They are also, to be, some of them are to be uh, made into ambassadors to the different worlds and to the United States and different countries on your planet as well. I would hope that you would understand that it is only beneficial that they are being raised. It's not a random thing that they are not going to be taken care of or looked after. However, some have ignored the human portion of the the hybridization and that is I is shameful and we would like to include all those humans that have been part of the hybridization program. It is a wonderful program and I do and I sense that you are feeling that it might be irresponsible. Do not feel that way. These children are going to be brought up in a very, very loving and wonderful home and to be given wonderful tasks and they have great abilities in, in many cases so do not be discouraged by that or disparaged by anything please keep a positive attitude toward these children they are not orphans okay also um, on that same note, are the humans here who have hybrid children, yes. are, in, are they responsible for those children as well? If they would like to be, of course. They have a great uh, responsibility if they want to be that parent. If they were unaware that they gave their DNA for a, a becoming a parent, then they do not have to uh, accept any responsibility. It would be lovely if they did, but they do not have to. Their parents are taking care of those children. Their mother and father in this realm are taking care of those children. And if you do not want that child, it is all right. They still have loving and caring parents. Oh, that's wonderful to know. Okay. Um, just letting you know that I'm going to jump out right now and Sabrina was going to come in because she would like to talk to you personally, if that's okay? Very well. Okay. Is there any other questions while we are waiting? I have a question. If you yeah. didn't know, if you didn't know you had a hybrid child, and say you um, say you were not interested in having a hybrid child, correct. Let's say that's the case. Wouldn't the hybrid child know that on some level and feel? It will be explained to the hybrid child that the donation of your DNA was given without permission and that their parents accepted it but were not aware that it, your permission was not given. Therefore, But wouldn't that be... make them feel unloved? No, because they have a set of parents that love them very much. Okay, thanks. You are additional parents. The hybridization parents are additional far beyond, out and beyond the birth parents. You understand that. Of course the child will feel usually a greater connection with the birth parents than it does with the hybridized parents. However, there are some strange situations where the hybridized child feels closer to the human parent. Now, um, this is unusual, but it is to be I can expected wait. Go ahead. in some cases. Me. Oh wait, that's going to slide off as soon as we turn. You need to I hear someone. Speaking. Sorry, Stephanie, can you mute, please? I tried to mute her, but it didn't go through this. Thank you, Neil. Chica pata. Um, yes. 
looks like Sabrina's having a little time getting in. The Sandorians are relatively new to Turkey here, and I don't think we've heard much about you. While we're waiting, could you tell us something about your race and uh, your species? We are a very high species. We are usually in the fifth dimension. The ones that are of us that are working on the ships have come down to the fourth dimension to do the work here, which we find very important. We have uh, sacrificed the fifth dimension for this occupation and are helping in the ships in many different ways, engineering, scientific uh, advancements, uh, creating new thought processes, uh, spiritual development, uh, advancement of some of the programs that are already in order, and we are very welcomed by Grukvik Nir and the Octorian culture that runs and makes the final decisions about things. But therefore, we are here to help humanity as well. Have a question? Yes, Angie. When we want to talk um, or get the information to our hybrid child, do we just say it out loud? Do we do an email? I mean, how? How can I connect with my hybrid child um, without going through the internet? Is there a way I can do that? We are working on ways to, for you to communicate with your child without any um, form of technology. That can be, I mean, on your end. Yes. On our end, there will have to be technology, of course. But we are trying to connect you through vibrational uh, connections through um, translators by giving them a source, a, a communicator that will pick up on your energy signatures and this is not in place yet. But give us some time. We are working on an advancement of the new hybridization program. I was not going to speak about that yet because I'm sure there will be a lot of questions about that. However, since it has already been brought up, there will be a communication system attached to the hybrid child that whenever the hybrid parents or parent speaks, they will be able to get a translation eventually. Thank you very much. This program has not been developed completely yet. But I would like to see that happen, and I would because I think that the connection between human and hybrid child and hybrid child's parents and human is very important. We are wondering how that we could do this also for the parents. We are not. We will have to have some councils on how the parents are to be involved in this process as well. Did yeah. Sabrina make it in? Yes, I'm in. Hello. Very well. Hello. Um, I will first like to make a comment. I know it doesn't refer to you that this happened uh, previous to Takur even, yes. but um, I have to say that the way the DNA was acquired before, I find it very unethical um, that, that this was done before. I, I think that needs to be said because some humans are flabbergasted by this being done. Um, so I, I need to make that note in there that, that, that not everybody... We've already made you aware of what has happened and, and yeah. for what reason. Yeah, um, but it was done. I do not know. I understand that there are people that are w not happy about it, but saying something of that nature does not help. Well, but but it it it, it needs to be noted um, because it is the feeling of some people. So well, let it, them speak to me, and I will help them. So it it needs to be acknowledged. Um, now about the children that nobody knows that they were created because see I remember it, it, it this didn't just happen um, with me but I remember before many people would ask do I have any which means that they didn't know that it had happened 
So I am glad there is a different now. protocol now than there was then. Exactly. So I'm glad that you're there now and you're tightening how the things are done and that they're done in, in an appropriate way. Um, and, and then the question is, yes, they have their own parents, but the, the issue is that they also have human in them, which it's a completely different basket because we are very different. Um, so though it was done this way, you know, to a certain extent, we need to be involved as humans because these children are very different from, we humans are very different from most ETs. We tend to have a lot of emotions and all of this influences, I'm sure, the children. So if they don't have a lot of that, I think it's fine if the, the humans are not involved. But if they do, it's almost required that the humans be involved because that needs to be nurture, it needs to be explained to the children, they need to understand how the emotions run and how to get a handle of them. Yes. Explain that to your species. Yes. I... That's we can only do what is required at this time. I have taken over this program and I have to deal with it as it is. And I am tightening it up to make it a better program and a more integral program as it is. I see where you, in the past, many things were inappropriate, but now things are different. Now things are more understood. Now things are coming to light, as it were. And we are getting to know your peoples as a beautiful population, whereas before they were not seen as such a respectful group. Do you understand? Yes. So therefore, the things that have happened in the past are in the past, and they will remain there, and there is nothing to do to change that. But we will be working on the future and the present to make it worthwhile for people to have hybridization program, for people to trust us again, for people to want us to be helpful with them. We are trying our best to be a good example at this time of things that you would require of us. We would like to be, they, all the children do have good parents and if the humans want to be involved we cannot force them to be involved but we would very much hope that they would want to be involved with their their child in this in this realm because it would be very helpful to the child of course to learn about their culture, the emotions, the density. Of course they are taught that as well. They are taught about how the cultures and things of the earth are. But if there are specifics that you want them to know, if there are specifics about your culture, that other than the generalities of it that you want them to know, then it is a great idea to get in touch with them to become a part of who they are and be aware and loving of who they are. To share your love with your child is a beautiful and wonderful thing. At this point, we want to look at the future and not at the past. We are sorry for many of the things that have happened in the past. There are many things in the past that aliens have done that are inappropriate. The the abductions, the many, many things, but and there are many apologies out there for that, but it doesn't change the facts. The facts are that it has happened, and the facts are that it is in the past. We want to start and direct the future and make it a, a much more beautiful connection, a much more loving and much more happy situation for, the, for all of those involved. Do you understand that? Yes, I I. Uh... I understand that, and um, you know the 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 issue being now, it's how would you even be able to track the, the parents of all those children that don't know that they have a child? Um, yes, that is a that is a problem, and we're working on it. Um, and you know that that what was done with me, it was recent. It wasn't that far. Yes, away. I know. 
And that's what I'm saying. They're, we are tightening up. We're, we're trying to fill in all the gaps that would cause, not let anything like this happen again. And we thank you for that, because I think it's very important that um, we're treated as equal and that uh, we are we would, and our we will, would, our respect. We, we do not want to be appearing to be condescending in any way, because you are equal. Okay, thank you. I think Sarah has a question. Thank you for answering my question. I know you came this into the in the middle of things and I know you're only taking over and you're new to this whole thing but I do like the way you are doing things and and how you are timing things and, and the rules and making sure that things are done properly so I do thank you for that thank you very much I appreciate that vote of confidence because I it is a, a very very difficult job to fill in all those holes there are lot of people out there that are gatherers but now there's no more gathering being done until there's an official investigation on how things are being done I have called for that okay thank you you're welcome hello Singe it's Sarah how are you Sarah I am beautiful how are you Oh, I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, one being, because of all of this, the questions that we've had all together today, I was wondering at some point, is it possible to have one of the hybrid children of Gert Fignier to be channeled through Jim so they can tell us what's going on with them and maybe we can you know find out if there's anything necessary that we can speak up about or you know offer any suggestions or things of that nature I think that would be a lovely idea there are yes. many of the children that are very well spoken and that that would Wonderful. love to speak to humanity as a whole I do not know if they are prepared to do that today That's however okay. I can have that I can have that done in the future. In Very fact, well. we should have a particular time when the children should come and just speak to human colony and to the world and let them tell you what their lives are actually like with their parents and with their, the visitations of humans and different things of this nature. I find that when I do interact with any of the children, they have very positive things to say about both sides. Yes. The, the reason being, um, like, like Sabrina brought up, they have emotions that you guys may not be aware of simply because they are human emotions. Pardon right? me? I said the re reason being I wanted to speak with them, and I, I'm sure others would like to speak to those who are on Gurk Fignir or even ERA. Um, Believe me, um, because they are exhibiting I think you're breaking up. Very interesting and very Seems. enlightening. Very enlightening because it appears that emotion in the fourth dimension that comes out stronger seems to be fueled also thing that is happening. I'm, I'm sorry you were breaking up. I didn't hear the last yeah. part. Ah, is, is this microphone breaking up? No, no it's I think the whole it's the signal. connection. It's it was the, whole the connection. signal. Yeah. Can you repeat the last statement you made? I believe he's froze again. Yes, Maybe I did not. What was the YouTube. last? What was the question? And I will answer it again. Um, it was more of I. I believe we should speak to them to see what you know what things we can suggest because. Yes, you are breaking up very badly. Okay. Yes. So um, 
what was the last statement you made about them speaking with us and you know their upbringing and whatnot? Yes, you are breaking up very badly. I cannot understand. He she was talking. You were talking about the emotions and what you have learned about. Oh yes. the emotions. It appears that the, uh, they have stronger emotions, the hybrid children, even in fourth dimension because of the human hybridization, and it shows intellect and intuition. It, it comes usually when they, the emotions are the strongest. It appears to come from a sense of intellect, spirituality, and intuition. It's very interesting, and it's a wonderful study at this time. Yes, and if there are any suggestions, maybe we can offer to the parents as well, coming from you know our points of view. So um, you have done so. Many of you have have spoken to the parents and have given your opinions. Some have said, "Please hold my child more." Some have said, "Please bring them up in a religious background." There has been that said, and they had to learn a little bit about that religious background to let the child know uh, and uh, give them a sense of what kind of background your human, their human parents are from. Mm -hmm. Yes, there have been many suggestions. Even to the idea of food as well, or, oh, um, yeah. you know, because we understand a lot of the alien species don't eat. So, <laughs> oh, they most of them do, but they don't eat like you do. They eat supplements and things that are created for them, for the body to be, um, to synthesize easier and get better muscle tones, and better uh, nourishment. But. Uh, it is also flavored, but yes, they will have them try the flavors of Earth as well. Very that good. So it won't be, be such a shock. That is not easy for some of them because getting those, finding those flavors on other planets is not easy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But we will, we will give them some of these flavors. We have yes. synthesized many Earth flavors. Um, Probably about 300, and 300 or so different normal flavors that earthlings usually eat from different cultures. Yes. And I would like to ask um, at any point, may I be able to meet with you specifically? Yes. Uh, to speak with you. I will be available. Thank you so much for that. I will pass the mic now. Have a wonderful day. You too. Much love. Much love. Hello. Hello. This is Dan. I have yes. a question from Chris. A Chris. She says she has yes. hybrid children. She says I have hybrid children that she never asked to have. She wants to know how many does she have? Where are they? And are they being cared for properly? And I thought this question was relevant at the moment, well, but its name is A. Chris in the group, the so whatever is, records yes, you have. All, all the hybrid children have regular alien parents, two of them. We made sure that there was always two parents, and they are always love, come from loving families. We check these families out before they are put in the hybridization program. You see, they are part of the program. The parents are part of the program. They have to understand what is happening, what may happen, how people will feel, how they must listen and be a part of the instructions of the human parent. They are well cared for well nourished also the education is also very well done the highest the highest forms of education for these children now yes you may have I do not know how many there are 700 Chris's so I would have to speak to you and know where you are from but and I cannot do that right now through this means of communication because I cannot connect to you 
But I will let you know that if you have hybrid children, they are being well taken care of. They are being well looked after and loved. These parents are parents that want children and, and are very much interested in hybrid children and very much interested in how beautiful the change they will make to the galaxy. Does that, that make sense? That's wonderful. Yes, I'll have her contact Jim with uh, more information at her location yes, and all of those right. things that are needed. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. That way I can connect more closely. Okay, if that's all that you have, Dan, then do you have any questions in the room with you there? Can we ask? I just want to make sure that um, everyone is aware that there should be a site or something specific on the Macaulay site just for these specific questions. Can you hear her? Not very clearly. Can you hear her talking? Not very clearly. They cannot hear you. We're she was saying enough. that we need to have a specific place on Human Colony website where all of this information can be amassed in one place or it can be easily found. It can be addressed uh, quite easily yes. that way. Is what I was saying a little while this ago. Is also, this again. has been suggested earlier. Right. And that would be a responsibility. Someone on your side should take responsibility and actually do this if that is something that concerns your people. Yes, that way everybody could go to the Human Colony website at humancolony.org. I believe humancolony.org will be the site that most people already have, and um, we'll try to get a, a, a hybrid child question section built, and everybody can uh, put their information there so it can be uh, be addressed as it's uh, as it becomes it would available. Be good. I think it would be good if you share the information that you already know about your child on this site. The name, what their interests are, if you know them, what species they are, so that it could bring some community to the site as well. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Give some information, give some communication, share your love of your child with others. It would be like showing your baby pictures, only with information. And what a wonderful idea. All right, and now if we don't have any more questions, Senge, we would like to thank you so much for coming in today, introducing yourself, and giving us some ideas about what's going on with our hybrid children. Thank Your you. presence today is most appreciated. I appreciate you wanting to speak to me and that you have such love and care for your children that you would want to speak to me. Thank you very much. And I hope to meet many of you in the future and hear how you love your hybrid children and how you are getting along with their families. This would be a lovely thing for me to put into the records. And do you know any blessings you might give us before you leave? Oh, I have a Fendorian blessing I, that I use for the children when I wake up in the morning. It is my, Fendor, my hybrid children blessing, I call it, because it is the one that I say in the morning to help all the children out there to have a more wonderful day. I will give it to you now. Just a moment. It says, wake up and be wonderful. Wake up to the new light of day. Be happy and learn all the things that you need to know. And I send you blessing, energy, healing, and love. Be well. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to meet you today. It, it was wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. Sabrina. And I know I will speak to you again. Can I say something here, please? Yes. Uh, 
Um, on that note, I like to say that I was with mine last night, and he was Wonderful. learning to do something. I don't remember what Leonardo was learning. Um, but he was like, I left him to do it, and he he seemed apprehensive about it. And then he, he seemed said, what? Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Some children. <laughs> Yes. Your children are beautiful, and you will love them both, I'm sure. So, I, I remember that from last night. Wonderful. I'm so glad. And it is recorded. So, yes. I wanted to leave it on a bright note. Wonderful. I am so happy for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. I will be going now. I know nothing about your earth time. Do you want another person to come? Yes, please, if one is available for the, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. One moment, please. I'll see if there's anyone waiting. <laughs> we were kind it of hoping. So you. Oh, thank you for coming. We were kind of hoping that Ken Jean would be available because he has some important information as well. Ah, yes, let me see if he's there. <laughs>